Hello everyone, welcome to Game Tech UK and another truck driver video. Before we get on with our video, as always, top right of your screen will be my playlist with all my truck driver content in there. Feel free to check that out. That will tell you absolutely everything you need to know about the game in preparation for release in a matter of weeks. So what are we gonna do in today's video? Well, as the title suggests, it's gonna be a serious discussion. I'm gonna give you my thoughts and opinions on the things that I think need to be included in Truck Driver when you download it upon release, on day of release. Now this is gonna be a realistic video. It's no good me saying, oh, I hope the map's gonna be bigger. I want police driving around. Uh, I want multiplayer, I want American trucks. It's gonna be realistic. I've been following Truck Driver now for a long time on the channel, ever since the first announcement trailer over a year ago. I've been playing the PC version for probably about six months, and I've been playing the PlayStation 4 version for probably coming up to two or three months now. So I know the game inside out I've given plenty of feedback to Sodesco the feedback that you know the comments that you leave in my videos have all been a help to help shape the game because I've had confirmation many many times that Sodesco read the comments in my videos so it's going to be a really realistic video uh, and my requirements are going to be realistic they're going to be my opinions my personal requirements that I think should be in the game that certainly doesn't mean that they're going to be included in the game it doesn't even mean that they're going to be the same requirements that you've got but these are going to be my requirements for what I think needs to be improved in the current game and what needs to be included in the current build ready for release so the PlayStation version that I'm playing is still the original one that I got given a probably about two two and a half three months ago I've had no updates to that of course there's updates working in the background the development team is working on it all the time so some of these things that I'm bringing up in this video may have already been included some may never get included now in me it's probably going to be quite a lengthy video so uh, I'm going to do my best to keep it as interesting as possible I'm going to start off with the small things that I think need to be included and then towards the end of the video some larger things that I think the game really really needs so watch it all the way through if you think I'm wrong please leave me a comment in the comment section below so sit back and let's get on with the things that I think need to be included in truck driver so we're going to start small reversing sound currently there is no reversing sound this is a truck this is a huge truck it needs a reversing beeper and it would look and feel a lot more realistic if it had one Next is the horn. Now currently this is a really generic car sounding horn that automatically beeps twice when you press it. I don't know why it does that, but that really does need changing and replacing for something more akin to what you'd expect, air horn, something really meaty uh, to go alongside the truck. So that does need changing. Next up, and akin to making small changes to what's already there, there isn't any rumble strip sound. When you're on the motorway, you expect if you veer off um, to have a rumble strip sound. Again, it just completes the package, makes it a lot more realistic, reminds you that you are driving a vehicle on the motorway and it should have a rumble strip sound. Next up is the sleep stations, which I think need um, a look at in detail. Some of them are in very peculiar places. Uh, this one, for example, expecting you to drive up onto the pavement. Uh, when you do go up to a sleep station, you don't have to stop, you don't have to park, you don't have to turn your engine off. You just carry on going accelerating. You can just press triangle and you'll instantly just stop dead and you can sleep for four hours. What I would like to see is a system very, very closely resembling uh, when you drop off your, your, uh, your load. So you get the path marker um, it can be blue so you know it's a sleep station but tucked away somewhere properly in the corner of the car park where you have to reverse in you have to get you know parked in that area turn your engine off and then you can sleep for four hours um, I think people will like that you know it's a truck driving game people are going to love parking in this game so if we can do that rather than just roll over um, a sleep station without even stopping just pressing triangle I think it'd be a lot more realistic a lot more polished um, and feel that you're in control of the vehicle and your day's work within truck driver Next up is the HUD mirrors. Now I would like the option to turn the left hand HUD mirror off. The reason being, you can see here from the starter truck, the field of view is quite narrow and it, it hovers over the actual mirror that I could actually be using. So in this particular instance, I'd like the option to turn that left hand mirror off. If you look at a later truck, you can see that with a field of view on this one um, is quite large, quite wide. So actually it becomes quite useful here, but I'd still like that option to be able to configure that left hand mirror. Next up is fuel. Now the proper way to um, fill up with fuel would be to park into the garage, 
you know, park correctly next to the pump, turn the engine off, and then fill up with fuel. Well, currently in truck driver, you don't even have to turn your engine off. You don't even have to stop. You can just drive forward and backwards, all whilst filling up with fuel. It makes it unrealistic. It looks like it hasn't really been thought around, and it needs polishing up. So, I mean, I would love specific parking areas next to each pump, but if that isn't gonna happen, that's totally fine. But you should be required to turn the engine off, stay stationary whilst filling up with fuel. Again, it'll make it just more polished, more thought about, and more enjoyable. Now, this is an ongoing one for me, and if you watch my videos, you know I've always spoke about this, and that's the looking left and right system and centralizing the camera. Because I watched my last uh, video back, and where I was veering over quite a bit, I even watched it back because I thought, well, why was I veering over so much? And when I watch it back, it's because I didn't have the camera or the view centralized, it was over a little bit. So it really, it's actually quite disorientating. When you look left and right, at the junction, you know, you have to try and get it back in the middle. I do really require, this is me again, personal level, but I require a system where I can get that camera back without flicking through the view. So for example, if you was to um, look left and right and rotate through all the views, yes, it would centralize, but you don't want to do that. It's going to be disorientating and quite annoying. I need to be able to have a button or a system that maybe after a few seconds automatically centralizes that camera. Bus Simulator has a perfect system, and that is just a simple left and a back to the middle and a right and a back to the middle. I wouldn't even mind if truck driver took, took off the full analog looking around. I don't even mind that. Just a simple look left, simple look right, and back to the middle would be absolutely perfect. So this is a big one for me. Next up is steering wheel. Now we had the great news a little while ago that steering wheel support was going to be included in truck driver and my Thrustmaster TGT works absolutely fine as I've shown in a previous video, but you can't look left and right at junctions and there isn't currently a button to be able to scroll through the view. So you can't look outside the truck uh, when you're parking, you can't go to third person, it's all first person and you can't look left and right. If that's how it's gonna be released, I don't, I don't personally class that as full steering wheel support. If you can't control the whole game via the steering wheel, then that's quite an omission. And I just couldn't play it with um, without looking left and right at the junctions. It wouldn't be realistic, it'd be pulling out on people, parking would be quite difficult. So I know there's quite a few brands um, that are supported, the full list I'll put in the description actually. Hopefully the developers are gonna go through each option and make sure that the steering wheel is fully supported, fully supported, as in we can look left and right and we can look outside the truck as well. The perfect solution to this would be just to make it so you can reassign your own buttons. That would be fantastic. Then I could sort out the looking left and right, I can have a button. Um, so that would be my perfect scenario, is to make the, the, uh, the, the controls fully reassignable. That would be great. But if not, for example, my Thrustmaster TGT, I need that requirement to look left and right and outside the truck, otherwise I don't class that it's got full steering wheel support. Speed limits. Now, at the moment, you can go through motorways, towns, and you don't really know what the speed limit is. It changes quite a bit as you go through, of course, naturally, and you're never really on top of the speed limit. I get speeding fines. I'm worried about what the speeding is. I end up just going way too fast. I think the perfect solution to this is on your GPS, whatever road you're on, it should give you the current speed limit in just a small sign there's plenty of room in the gps and i'm sure it'd be fairly easy to implement but whatever road you're on it should give you the current speed limit of that road again nice and realistic nice and polished a great feature to have and one where you can think okay i'm getting near the speed limit of 70 or 120 up on the d-pad for cruise control i know exactly where i am exactly what i'm doing and i'm not going to break the speed limit and be a, a realistic way of driving as well nice little feature in the bottom right hand corner of the screen next up is the lack of ai cars now you can see in this clip here you know you can drive for miles without seeing literally anyone on the road now of course even in real life you get quiet times quiet areas but even on the motorways at times it really really does get quite lonely also there's no other trucks in this game it is only cars so you know it is it does seem a bit strange that in the existence of truck driver world you are literally the only truck so I would love to see trucks in there in the future I'm not sure if that's going to happen but I really do think at launch we need more AI cars 
Next up, and a very important one for me um, to be fixed at launch, is the low frame rate and the screen tearing, which is quite unacceptable at the moment in its present build. You can see from this clip here, probably showing it at its worst, just this small turn in area quite slowly. The frame rate is really low, the screen tearing is really low, and it's not even like there's a lot going on on the screen, there's no AI traffic. This really, really, really does need sorting at launch. The, the threshold for even indie titles is so high now that this wouldn't really be acceptable and playable on a long-term basis. So I'd love to see this fixed. So, so far, so good. I don't think anything that I've asked for so far is un unrealistic, unachievable. I think it polishes the build that we've got and I think it would be easy to implement. Leaves me on to two last points. Now, this one is quite a big one for me. Um, Sedesco have been quite open actually about the size of the map. The fact that it isn't a huge map. I've shown you the map many times on my videos. Um, the fact that it's a small map or a small scale is not a problem to me. Um, we've got towns, villages, vistas, we've got harbors, it's fine. It's an interesting map but what that leaves you on a small scale game is extracting as much gameplay as we possibly can out of the game we've got the NPC relationship so that's going to add gameplay that's totally fine seeing how the NPCs react with each other and with you as a driver that's totally fine but after that's finished what are you left with you're left with the drive-in and most importantly the parking the parking is a massive thing in Euro truck people love it people love to have control of this truck and enjoy parking it enjoy getting better at parking it currently in truck driver the parking zones are really really poorly placed and too easy you can see from this example that it's just there you can just drive past it and just drop and go you don't even don't even need to stop the um the vehicle you can literally just drive up press triangle drop it and carry on driving it needs a complete revisit and when i say a complete revisit not the system the system's fine just the placement of the parking zones they need to be tucked away they need to be a lot harder than what they currently are in my personal opinion, they need to be accepted one way or the other. So it should have a hologram or an arrow telling you what way to park. So when you go into a, a parking area, you see, the, um, you see the parking zone, you see the arrow and you think, right, I need to reverse round and it drive all the way round and reverse it in. It, that's where the gameplay is going to be and maybe Sedesco have underestimated this I know that obviously if you're used to Euro Truck you know you're used to this by now but this is brand new for the console market and the players on console are going to really really enjoy getting better and parking this huge monster of a truck give longevity to the gameplay and keep it interesting so that is a massive requirement for me that the parking zones need changing the next point and the last point is the future of truck driver and the future potential ip that sedesco have got on their hands with truck driver at the moment if anyone asks are we getting more dlc um are there going to be police are there going to be new locations new trucks are there going to be american trucks in the future what's going to happen in the future it's always the official line is look let's just see how it sells at launch and we'll see what we can do there's no there's no concrete planning which is fine on one hand because at least they're not trying to sell you a promise they're being quite open in saying look the game that we're going to offer you this is the game make your purchase decision on that not what it might be in the future but way back i would have liked some information from truck driver and sedesco about what they would have liked to have done so you know i'd love to know look we have got plans for in maximizing the size of truck driver we would like to add three different regions we'd love to have american um uh, trucks you know three months down the line we'd love that you know to really get people interested in the game not as a false promise i think it's obvious this game is going to sell well but what i would like to know is where the future of the game lies are we just going to get the game as it is in its present state or are there plans? I don't think there's anything wrong with letting the player base know we have got plans. Come on board, invest in the game, invest in the future of Truck Driver, and you should get three or four map updates in the future. We're not giving you any time scale. You know, I, w I wouldn't expect a time scale. I'd just like some information about the future of Truck Driver, because at the moment it is quite vague. Are we buying just into this game as it is, or have we got a potential truck in IP on our hands for the console? 
So that's it. I think I've been fair. I think I've been honest. Um, I'm always honest in my games and the way that I show games. I don't want to hide anything from you. Yes, I enjoy showing you the gameplay, and yes, I do get excited when I play, but I also want to show you the other side as well. I want to give you all the information I can. I want that's why I want you to come to Game Tech UK. So I've been open. I hope it hasn't come across as negative in any way. This video is not meant to be a negative pull apart of truck driver is meant to be look these are the things that i personally think as a gamer someone who's interested in behind the scenes of games these are the things that i think truck driver needs and requires to become out as a polished um, as a polished title and a finished title um, let me know in the comment section below if you agree let me know in the comment section below if you've got other thoughts that you would like. So Desco have already told me, you know, they read all my comments, so they're going to be reading the comments. But please don't leave a message just saying I want a bigger map because that's, you know, you've missed the whole point of this video. The point of this video is what we've got realistically to work with up until launch in a couple of weeks. But that is it, everyone. I thank you as always for watching. Have a lovely day and I will see you in the next one.